U zag Johannes Muller en hij speelde van Eitor Villalobos, Cadenza from Concierto. Congratulations, that you won the Vriendenkrans concours. Uh, the jury told, they said about you that you had such a mature personality when you were performing. It's really special because you really concentrate. And then you start playing. Beautiful. But let's begin. At the beginning, the guitar and you. When did you two meet? It's a good question, actually. Um, for me, it was kind of strange because it wasn't like I really knew why I wanted to play guitar. But at the point when my dad asked me, "Do you want, would you like to play an instrument?" I said, "I want to play the guitar." So, so I don't really know why. It was kind of intuitive thing. How old? Where? Ten. Actually. Ten and where? In Sweden. In Sweden. In Sweden. And my father is a, he is a flautist actually. So I knew the guitar. I mean, not only from TV and all these things, but I knew the classical guitar because my father was playing a lot with classical guitarists together with them. Mm -hmm. And there was a kind of attraction to the instrument. I don't know because it wasn't like you know when you grow up with music, it's very different than. If you don't, because you sort of really take it for granted. For me, there was not so special the music because it was always there, you know, hours and hours of his flute playing. But even that you thought uh, but again, it was just like guitar. You know? uh -huh. So I don't know why actually. Uh -huh. And then. But then, uh, for me, it really happened when I started playing it, and somehow I started to be very fascinated with uh, the kind of feelings you know you can awake in the music. There's something that you kind of become a part of. I think, uh, at least before I used to play, I, I probably thought a lot that the person who's playing 
uh, is actually doing it, you know? He's doing the music, but then when you start playing, you realize that in a way you're also just listening, you're just becoming part of something. So, so this was... So the guitar is playing you? A little bit, yeah. The music is playing you. So ah, there's the some, music. I remember being very fascinated by, you know, wow, you can really feel all these things, you know, it has an effect on your emotions and all these things. Uh -huh. So the first uh, piece you played, Eto uh, Villa Lobos, yeah. what does it tell you? What, what's it about? Well, this piece is really like a kind of scope of many things, I think. That's the mm. beauty of it. It really goes from some very lively things to some very singy inner emotions. It takes you on a kind of journey. Uh -huh. That's what I like about the piece. In only three minutes you go through all these different things. All these different emotions mm -hmm. also. Um, the guitar is a very uh, intimate, silent uh, instrument. Eh? And if you, if, you're, if you don't listen carefully, you think that it's always a bit in one mode. Mm -hmm. More or less. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a kind of. Um, uh, I think composer Fernando Sor said that the guitar is like an orchestra in a miniature. It's like imagine you take uh, what you say, monoculus, mm -hmm. this thing, but you put the other way around. So it's true. You really have to listen more carefully. But when you when you listen to it, it has all these kind of colors and timbres and expressions. And then you started to compose, because uh, the next piece you're going to play is Whispered by the Wind. Um, I think there was the kind of continuation of this. I wanted to know, I think. I mean, not, I started when I was about 12, so it's not like I really I want to find out what music is about, but intuitively I, I sort of wanted to go deeper and see what is this with music that really uh, can make us feel all these things, that can and awake all these things in, in the person who plays and the one that listens. So it's a kind of to see if, if again, I can find this, you know? So I was composing a lot and trying different things, different colors and ensembles. Jonas, this piece you, of your, mm. uh, your own composition, Whispered by the Wind, and th these two elements, like these different uh, techniques mm. and also what it means for you to have this modal, tonal, meditative, mm. maybe, mm. Um, element in your music. Can you maybe demonstrate what that means? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll try. Uh -huh. Well, as you see, first of all, I'm using a, a little capo here, uh -huh. which is something coming from more from flamenco technique, actually. But I'm actually only covering, I'm not covering the not first the old, string. No. So you get uh -huh. a d different sound from yeah. this, you know? And then, so then you can get this to kind of. Of uh, Arabian sound a little uh, bit, you know, this resonance. Yeah, also Indian. It's kind of having many strings, almost the same pitch, uh -huh. you know, because this one is much lower. So it's almost the same like the second string, uh -huh. and then then it's all sort of the same uh -huh. in a ringy area. And also kind of drone that you have, and it's like this tone that's always going on. Yeah, know? this kind of it's it's definitely that kind of you know like uh -huh. uh, uh, modal music, you know, even a sort of the the main tone. This, as you say, the sort of uh, pedal tone is sort of the same, but the mode on top is changing. Mm -hmm. you know? So, so you get a little different color. So I mean, you're 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 a player. So you're a composer mm -hmm. and you're a player, and then you start. And then is what you said that the music or the guitar is is it's writing itself. 